What's up, my people? Your boy Chris is back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're coming here for the first time, welcome. If you're if you've been here before, welcome back. It's been a long time. Missed you guys. I was busy with a few things, but today we are going to do something exciting. Okay, so I saw a remix of a song from Lam. Lam from Linga Lam. He made a song, I think Count Your Blessings is the name. And he had a remix with the legendary Bima. So I saw the the song cover and I wasn't I was I didn't like it really. But I, I just wanted to recreate uh, the song is nice, but I wanted to like do something with the song cover and see what I come up with. And it, it was also a nice way to like, you know, get myself back in the groove because I haven't painted in a while and especially digitally, I've not painted in a while. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so first of all, um, I had already started this piece before recording this video. So I'm just going to walk you guys through like the whole process and I'll probably put it somewhere on the screen so you can see what I'm saying while I'm saying it. Now, I started with a sketch. I sort of found like random pictures of uh, Lamba and, and Beanie Man online and, you know, put it to good use, really. So I just went in straight, got like a rough outline of their faces and, you know, just to make it a bit easier. For myself and that's basically how I left the sketch the sketch is a bit rough but that's that's sort of how I like it I don't I like that sort of crude look in any piece of work I I don't really like it when it's too refined if you get one so yeah that's how I started and I think let's let's go into when I step actually painting the stuff because okay, so I think the next video here is of the one where I sort of uh, blocked in the, the the base colors of the skin because that's that's really how I work I don't really like it like refined where you are doing like the, all the classic shit <laughs> <laughs> that comes with painting. I just do my own thing because I, you know, I let myself so it's a bit unconventional. So I start with the blocking in of all the parts of the faces. You know, uh, some parts I had to like just put the shades I felt like putting in there. Some parts I had to reference the picture just a combination of everything really and i think after i just <laughs> i think i just blocked everything in and i became tired and i i stopped <laughs> i stopped so that's it then next i think on a different day when i sort of you know had the strength to paint again i started uh, laying down sort of refining what i had already done making it look good and that's just what i did throughout trying to put details where details were needed then you know putting in the beards and everything that makes it look like an actual like human being then after that i went straight to just do like the beanie man part of the piece started with the same thing blocking in uh, detailing uh, whatever you have detailing uh, beards and stuff like that and it was i can't really explain the process maybe i'm going to uh sort of make some shots where i sort of explain it a little bit more in detail but i think 
this should serve for now to like to like make the shots. So yeah, that's how I made the beanie man part, and the base was sort of done. So the idea was to sort of make it feel like they were being pulled apart. Like you see the goiness in between their faces and stuff like uh, their their faces really. So I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I, I hope you can see this on the screen now to get exactly what I'm saying. But it will make sense as I continue to go. And when you look at it now, it looks more like what I was going for. I hope it does. <laughs> I hope it because if it doesn't, uh, that would be crazy. Although I think I'm going to still do something different to this because I, I I still want it to be a bit more raw, like look a bit more unrefined. Still looking a bit too neat for me. And I'm sort of trying out a new uh, touch. Trying out a new touch to my paintings as well. So that would be n uh, a nice way to start. Okay, so I'm doing the, I'm finalizing the whole painting now. Because I had finished already with like cleaning everything up and making it look like the way I want it to look. I want to add a little bit of roughness to it by using some uh, pastel uh, on, the, on some parts of the piece because I just like how it looks and I want it to be a bit different when you see the uh, piece immediately if you get what I mean. Okay, so I just start by um, having a base pastel color like red making it a bit lighter with orange and yellow and then highlighting it in some places with blue so that it just it just looks cool there is no re uh, re real reason why I do it and when you look at it you see that there is no regular pattern to it it's just something I do because I think it looks good on the piece really so I first start with the uh, lamb's face and then I go to Beanie Man's face and do sort of the same thing randomly, different patterns, whatever comes to mind, I just uh, put it down there. So I think here I was, I also sort of wrote the name because I wanted to keep a bit of consistency with the with the uh, other album cover I would probably put it somewhere on the screen now so you see uh, how they like place the names I wanted to do sort of the same thing with this one then when I was done with that the next thing I did was to in a bit to keep the consistency going I noticed there were some clouds in the original uh, cover so I went in and uh, you know started putting in some clouds as well in this one to make it look you know just for consistency just to look similar to what had already been done then when I was now done with everything it, it was now down to sort of like putting in the song name and stuff like that so i tried it a, a bit a few different ways I tried a few different ways and this is what i ended up with i might still change this but if i change this i'm going to update you guys on that Okay, so this is the end of another video. Me making a sort of new song, art cover, whatever you call it, to Lambs and Billy Man's song, Count Your Blessings Remix. And it was a fun experience making the whole thing. 
just if I, I, I would love you to see this if you can <laughs> so if there is a way to call his attention to this try it comment section wherever you see this video just try it out subscribe to the channel like do all those cool things and you would see another video that you probably like to watch so uh, just meet me there meet me there meet me there Peace. like and subscribe